and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody watching this video later on on YouTube also for some mono white angels. That's right, why play other colors whenever you can just play one? So we're playing a mono white deck where it's not mono white aggro, but we're going bigger. We have Resplendent Angel, Shalai Voice of Plenty, Angel of Grace, and Lyra Dawnbringer, all of them together. The reason why we have these eight green source lands is because of Shalai Voice of Plenty's activated ability. We're not, we don't actually have any uh, green cards to cast, but we just got a little bit of green lands in case that scenario comes up. Uh, besides that, we have um, our 11 two drops uh, to go along with our Ajani. So like we can, we can also get like the early beats in as well against like more controlly type decks. Um, and then we have Benelish Marshall and History Benalia in the three mana slot to either pump up our two drops or our angels. And of course, History Benalia is just a really solid card. So not a ton of interaction, just the two Ixalan's Bindings and Baffling End of the main deck, but that's what our sideboard is for. We have um, almost all interaction spells in our sideboard that we can bring in depending on the matchup of what we need. Uh, we also have another Ajani and a couple of Karns against Control. An extra Shalai for like uh, the aggro decks, especially mono red. Shalai is really strong there. Uh, having a third one of those settles against the creature decks. Um, more bindings, more baffling ends, some demystify, which is basically only good against wellness reclamation, but wellness reclamation can be a real tough matchup for us. So that's what we got. Hey, Mr. Previously. Oh, yeah. War of the Spark on Thursday. Definitely excited for it. Um, we. We're just playing Quasi Dupla Ooze to a lot of success, going 7 and 1 there. Let's see if Mono White Angels can pick up the next. We need three more wins to get to Diamond. We'll see if Mono White Angels can get us there. Dun, 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 dun. We get to play first, that's lucky. Hmm. Two lands and a high curve, not nearly as lucky. Hey, Grits with a sub. Thank you so much, Grits. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Sub number 14 on the day. I don't, I don't know if I really want to keep this or not. How many lands we got in here? 25. Hmm. All right. Going with Mulligan. Okay. I like this. Uh, Thursday. I'm not sure if we'll be going for a full 12 hours on Thursday. But it's going to be it's definitely going to be longer than normal stream. I am planning on uh, starting the stream as soon as War of the Spark is available. Um, as soon as that is, so uh, you know, maybe noon Eastern, maybe one Eastern. Whenever it's whenever it's up, I'll be I'll start streaming. Um, we'll kind of see how how we're feeling and everything. Whether we'll do a full twelve hours or you know probably be like ten hours or so. Dang. I like my Johnny. This is... Looks pretty bad for us. Yeah, Grixis is going to be pretty tough for our deck. Um, we don't have a, very much card advantage. A, a Johnny was... an important piece towards that we just discarded or like that they got discarded Arch I'm really glad we have Arch of Orozca as a land though here we are a long ways away from turning on turning it on because we have to have the city's blessing before we can start activating it we can't just do it next turn oh gosh Eldest Reborn I, I, our first hand would have been a lot better 
if I would have just kept our first hand with like the Ixlons bindings. How we had, you know, we had those, it was a slower hand with double Ixlons binding. Ixlons binding is just awesome against um, Grixis. Yeah, Ooze went went real strong for us. No friend of mine fights alone. So we kind of need to draw Lyra Dombringer oh, here and to them not have a removal spell for Lyra Dombringer. That's about all I got right now. Alright, nope. Alright, so Grixis, let's bring in our other Ajani, the other two bindings, the Karns. It's a lot of fours. I can cut Shalai though. Trim on our four some. I don't know about Baffling End. It's basically like Thieva Sandy and Legion War Boss. This can stop Hostage Taker, of course. And but it's just like the one three body just doesn't matter. You don't want me to cut Shalai because of Thought Erasure? And by the time we have Shalai out, do we really need it? Uh Thought Erasure. Hey, we got best of one from Night Owl. We got some jank. Awesome. Can we do... I can do Wednesday late. Uh, not planning on streaming tomorrow. Can we do Wednesday late for you, Night Owl? Does that work? Cool. All right. I got, do I have your deck? All right, Soul Tide, Primal Tide. Whew. Oh, wow, that is some jank. All right, that looks pretty sweet. Soul Tide, Primal Tide. Let me write that down. Uh, we'll do that last on Wednesday. Soul Tide, Primal Tide. For Night Owl, Wednesday last. All right. It's not very many cards that our opponent has in their hand. <laughs> Duriel, you bought a Japanese box? That's what wizards will do. They'll make you buy boxes you didn't even know you were going to buy. Let's lead with Vanguard. They can hit hard. <laughs> Me wear here? Well, thank you. This Field of Ruin in the Benelish Marshall deck. <laughs> I guess I should have Field of Ruin on their turn. What are the ideal Vanifar plays? I, mean, I guess it depends on your on what colors you're in. Re 
Rekindling Phoenix works really well with Vanifar, both as like because it's just a, a very strong card to go grab. Um, one, but then also it's a good card to sacrifice away because it keeps coming back. Alright, well we had a really good hand there, and opponent had a four card hand, so they they did a great job of having their hand that did nothing against our good hand kind of thing. I want the baffling end back in on the draw. Just feel like our curve's a little too high without it. Basically, because we know our matchup, I'm keeping. I'm kind of keeping like a any seven. Basically, <laughs> I love having the Ixalan's binding. That one's good. Uh, we'll see if we actually get to cast stuff. Um, but against like the Thought Razor deck that's like trying to grind us down, I just want to keep seven cards. Hopefully we draw lands here on the draw. Draw a land. Planes. 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 There we go. Works every time. Planes. 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 I'll take it. Ow. Oh, they're reading through the cards. That probably doesn't mean it's... Whoa. They got three spells. Alright. That is fine with me. Let's... Binding this thief. Get that thing out of here. Resplendent Angel is not too bad for us. You know, like, we got these other things. I'm, I'm, I would rather them have Resplendent Angel than History. So I'm actually glad they didn't take the History. Because History hits harder. Hmm. All right, planes, planes, planes. No, it didn't work that time. It's probably because we just didn't necessarily like absolutely need it. Land, planes, any land would do, any land. That's a lot of cards in a row without a land. Because we had our fourth land, and then they hit, they got three cards off a of Resplendent Angel, and then it's been like another three draw steps since then. It's been a ton of cards since we've actually gotten a land. Vraska on that four month streak. Thank you so much, Vraska. All right, here it is. Do we get the land? Land? <sighs> Always had it. Always had it. 
Thank you so much, Vraska. I needed that sub luck right there. That's all you. Getting that sub luck. So, of course, so I didn't play Dawnbringer because if they, um, if we would have played Dawnbringer and they had removal spell, then we die. Where this way, even if, if they have removal spell for Angel of Grace, we don't die because we go to one. And then we also get to untap. And then if, if they don't have the... Either way, if they don't have the... If they don't have the removal spell, we still get to hit for a, a bunch of lifelink. So... Angel of Grace was a lot safer. should be proud to have come so far. You are capable of more than you assume. I think next turn I'm going to attack with Lyra. Maybe. I don't know. I got Beat four, me. three. Just try it. You think I should just attack for 13 there? Yeah, let's let's attack this next turn. Attack them both at Rao. But yeah, maybe I should have just attacked him last turn also. Well, that's really good. Let's get rid of this thing. Do your best. You can. Deliver us to And victory. Ixalan's binding is nice. I know we could attack them for lethal, but oh well. No amount of science is going to fix this. Just kill Ral. Yeah. We are binding everything. No, I should have binding the hostage taker. <laughs> Lash out all you want. I will lend you my strength. Hey, Vladimus, it's going really well. Yeah, we had a great run with Quasi Dupla Ooze in the ranked queues. Earlier, we were in a kind of close game three here, where it looks good for us, but you never know. Ixalan's binding has been awesome for us, but Hostage Takers have been awesome for them. What do I want to take up on? I just keep on doing Look this. How far you have come. Attack with both. So if I attack with both, they double block my Dawnbringer. And then we trade Dawnbringers. They get a new Angel also. They they don't have to chop. Remember, they're gaining 9 life. So if we if we attack with this Dawnbringer, I don't think y'all realize they gain 9 life. Because they, they get to double block this Dawnbringer. And basically, we, basically by doing this, we trade Dawnbringers plus they get an extra token also. They get an extra flyer. And so then that, that means that my Johnny's dead. 
And then if they just find it a removal spell for Angel of Grace, I'm in a lot of trouble. Like, this is not a good trade. You want me to first strike the Resplendent? Then they get, then they get to keep Lyra around. Just got no attack. Oh, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I don't need that Thief of Sandy anymore with that Ixalan's Binding. <laughs> I see what you're saying. So, first strike Resplendent Angel. Then, Lyra dies. So they would double block the Angel of Grace. So, right. So, so they would just double block the Angel of Grace and just gain 9 and take take the 7. Like, that's that's the trade they would make. Yeah, they wouldn't block the Lyra at all. Blocking the Lyra wasn't, wouldn't make sense. So yeah, Angel of Grace would be the card they would double block. And just trade, and that's a good trade for me. So yes, I should have attacked. Yeah. Alright, good start. Yeah, I think you should wait for your wild cards for the next set. Yeah, because, I mean, that's it's just three days away, right? So I think it's it's worth, like, if you have wild cards that you don't know exactly what to do with them, or just, I feel like it's it's good to wait with it just being three days. Hey, Shakan is Zater? Shakan is Zater. Shakan is Zater. Hello. Just make them pay for life. Gonna make them do that a bunch. No attacks here, just in case if they do want to flip the Legion's Landing, we would be able to double block Banish Marshal. We of course do not we do not want to see um, unbreakable formation. That's the the main card I don't want to see here. Looks like Venerade Luxodon. That one's not a great one for us either. Oh, Tribunal? That's fine. That's fine. That means they're not going to Tribunal my Lyra Dawnbringer in a little bit. So that's good. Or, I mean, they still can, obviously. But hopefully not. Alright, hopefully no con no other Conclave Tribunal, hopefully. 
even even if they do have a tribunal, you know, we'll have Resplendent Angel as the follow up, which we just need one more land to you know just take over the game with Resplendent Angel also. But if they if they don't have any removal here, we just win the game. I just lost in best of one to red deck wins five times in a row because I was on the because I went second five times in a row. Yeah, the best of one format's not the best. Alright, unfortunately they did have the Conclave Tribunal, so we didn't get to just win the game there. So we're gonna have to work for it. If they have yet another Conclave Tribunal, then we are in a lot of trouble. But we need to draw we need them not to have yet another tribunal. Oh my gosh. Lyra Dawnbringer? No. Together we are unstoppable. Heal. Uh, doesn't look great for us now. You know, if they didn't have the second tribunal we won, and they did, but we were still doing okay. But then they had the third tribunal, and so we lose. But Resplendent Angel would have just won the game with us drawing that sixth land. We need another angel, an angel of grace, or a Lyra Dawnbringer. We need another one of those. All right, let's get these baffling ends in here. Um, I think finding's a little slow. Don't love a Johnny. I like Settle. What if we play some Demystifies? Is that crazy? Their like whole deck is enchantments, right? Like between Legion's Landing, History Banalia, Conclave Tribunal. Demystify is basically cat it's basically dive down for our Lyra Dawnbringers. It's basically dive down. But it's also like better than dive down, because it's like it's like dive down that um, you know, works at any point in the game. You know, even like even after they tribunal our our Lyra Dawnbringer, it's like two turns later you can still dive down it. So, and like at instant speed that our opponent's not going to know about. Spyglass would stop. Um, both the Adantos, Adanto Vanguard and Adanto the First Fort. Uh, they may have their own Ajani's also that you could spy glass. Ixlon's Binding is very good against Conclave Tribunal, yes. It's not really that good against anything else, but it is great against specifically Conclave Tribunal. But I like Demystify instead, it's just cheaper. Has more uses. Because, like, if we binding anything else, then they can tribunal our binding. I mean, it's still okay. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that it's not good against anything else. It's, it's 
still just fine against like a Danto Vanguard and Benelish Marshal. This costs a lot of mana. Ow. I don't think just making 1 1s will be too important. I kind of want to field a ruin that Glacial Fortress, but we also have the. You know, we can use the field of ruin on the Legion's Landing also. They're two permanents away from making this aspirant fly to giving this aspirant flying. Yes, little cheeky. I believe I believe I get another. I believe I still get credit with separate purchases because um, we had we had somebody order order multiple times with uh, quip and. I got credit for the multiple purchases there, so. Oh, I didn't even realize that bodyguard was on that card. Whoops. All right, Mona Truth. Do they do they draw a second Conclave Tribunal here? So that's the same as blocking the other bodyguard, really, because like the other bodyguard would be dead. It'd... The same there. All right, they didn't have it. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah, Gideon Blackblade is awesome. It's one of the best cards in the set. It is really good. <laughs> Double Shalai is not that good. Unfortunately. Doing a lot of counting over there. Oh, I, I don't. I don't think it's it's bad that my opponent was doing a lot of counting. I was just saying that that's what they were doing. I'm not saying that was a bad thing.
4, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. basically waiting so now now we have the ability to activate Shalai. And still feel the rune. That's why I was waiting a little bit. It gave him an extra 1-1. One, one. Good job, Sunrider. Shalai's are legendary. You can't you can't have two Shalai's on the battlefield. They're legendary. That's why it has that, that funky little border at the top. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, sixteen, twenty. If they draw a lord, they'll have twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. And I am gaining uh, seven, I'm gaining twenty here. I'll go to thirty one. I'll still just attack with two. Even though it wouldn't be lethal, even with drawing a lord. I don't really need to. We can hold one creature back. Because we have. We're going to have lethal the nec next turn either way. So, in case there's some kind of weird plus two plus two effect, they draw two lords in one turn or something. I don't, I don't know what. Yeah, spark double. We can have double shalai. I've I've had double shalai. Yeah, I mean we had double shalai yesterday when we were playing Esper Legends, because Lazav Lazav copying shalai and then having another shalai in play. You still get that double shalai. Yeah, Pride of the Conquerors. So. We already had <clears throat> that enchantment had Shalai underneath it. We already had a Shalai in play. There's no reason to destroy it. Hey, no reason to be sad that you just got stomped your first three gold ranked matches because you didn't rank up at all. You're still at the same spot. You didn't go anywhere. So yeah, it's yeah, it's better than <laughs> it's better than being like right towards the top and then start getting stomped. Which, like us, we are two wins away from from Diamond right now. So this is actually a pretty it's a pretty big game for us. Hey, what's up, Striker Boy? Thank you for that Twitch Prime sub there. Sub number sixteen on the day. We're making our way towards our next sub goal there. Okay. All right, Aku, have a good night. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe you'll get some real magic packs. Because of how cool Arena is. Uh, thank you so much, Striker. Alright. I like having dub Dub's Baffling End. Oh, we have Settle the Wreckage? Maybe we'll draw a Settle the Wreckage. Okay, what do you think of Settle the Wreckage? Uh, he's purring. I think he likes it. If you'd like me to draw a Settle the Wreckage. Settle the Wreckage. So as long as they don't have a Benelish Marshal here, you know, like, even if they want if they want to flip Legion's Landing, it's going to come at a cost. Dang, Rex. Sorry to hear that. All right, what you got over there? Venerate Luxodon. That doesn't do anything. But just another, it's just a, a solid attacker though. I think my opponent knew it didn't do anything how they left the snub horn back. Like, I don't think they didn't know that, but that could just kind of be their hand right now. I'm going to trade Benelish Marshall to kill the Luxodon. I think that's a good trade for me. Um... Yeah, nothing rotates till the fall. So if, if I played either of my 3 threes, they get to just, you know, swing in with their 3 3, you know, pretty easily. And it's not like the best block for me either way. So playing the baffling end, you know, just kind of makes them only attack with the 2 1. I want to give them one more turn to draw a Benelish Marshal, but I'm just going to get rid of this thing now. Also gave me another turn to see if we draw another Flyer. Oh, that's true. Ben I forgot that we'd have a 2-4 to block with Benelish Marshal. Yeah, I guess ben playing Benelish Marshal would have just been better than, b than Baffling End then. Yeah, that's, that's my B. Right, 
Yeah, looks like Trump Tribunal. Ooh, Luxodon. That's not a tribunal. That's good. That is good. Attack. A splendid angel, great. No tribunals. Yeah, Takali did some work this game. Double Luxodon. So we could have just gotten another, could have gained five life and gotten one other 4-4 flyer, but instead we get another 4-4 flyer. We still get the other 4-4 flyer. We didn't gain the five life, but we have the Benelish Marshal out also. Okay, so let's see. You can block here. You can block here. Um, and then if you block here, you block here. We're taking five, seven, nine. Eleven is not enough to stay alive. And Model White Angels with another win. Yeah, Hawkeye. Model White Angels got another win. Platinum Tier 1, we are one win away from Diamond. So time to head on back to Platinum Tier 4 now. <laughs> Alright, Model White Angels. You can get us there. Ooh, yeah, we need the final boss playlist. Here we go, final boss playlist. The final Platinum Boss. I got a nice busy day lined up ahead of me tomorrow. Yep. Gonna send some emails. Gonna go get my hair cut. Gonna do some grocery shopping. Gonna see if I can get my glasses fit a little better than what they are. <clears throat> what else am I doing? Oh, clean Hawkeye's litter out. But have a couple emails to send about moving stuff. And another email of, of seeing if we can get some new emotes. There's Bant tokens. No lands, no lands, no! No! I liked it better when you didn't have lands, opponent. Ooh! That's a spicy one. Walking around. Just sit down. Down. 
down, 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 down. Is this like settle the wreckage over there or something? I kind of want to just play my tight taker, just in case. Just see what happens. That's not really that bad of a trade for me. If they, they double block Benelish Marshall, they're taking a lot of damage. And then like they're not gonna have like their four threes the next turn also. I think that's an okay trade, trading Benelish Marshall for both parts of history, Benalia. Yeah, this could be a march of the multitudes. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we can't get rid of both Wilderness Reclamations with Binding. They gotta be a Teferi deck, right? Could be a Cleansing Nova deck, but I got... Ugh. There's so many things they could have in their pile over here. Cleansing Nova, we can still have four power next turn. Yeah, this is the Game of Thrones theme. Is it really worth it to bind Wilderness Reclamation when they have another one? I kind of want to bind to Fairy. Yeah, our opponent didn't use all their extra mana the last turn, so it's not like it's not like they necessarily needed it.
Looks like binding that other wilderness reclamation was the play. Right about now. They're not flipping us Kanta here, though, so that's good for us. Why would you not keep revitalize? Like, that just... Like, they have infinite mana here that just... Re like, why would you not just gain the three life? I don't understand. It's just... It's just zero mana gain three life. They have omniscience. Right now. They can play anything they want. See, now we still have four power. We're, we wouldn't have had seven power. I mean, they... It may not matter. They may just have something else now, too. But they definitely should have kept that revitalize. I guess we need to binding that second wreck instead of playing the Lyra Dawnbringer. Someone's like, I mean, the person that said that in chat was right. All right, so this is, of course, a tough matchup for us. But we got all these Demystifies. Hopefully they help out. Um, shall I can stop a settle? Yeah, Tithe Taker, History Benali, Cleansing Nova, Nexus of Fate deck got us. They just, you know, they basically made. They made the Nexus deck a lot better against other creature decks, you know, having cards like Cleansing Nova, Tithe Taker, and History Banalia, so much better against other than against creature decks than like normal um, blue green by adding in white. And we are a mid range creature deck, so they're they increase their matchup against us. Man, I would love to have a Danto, a Danto History, Benelish Marshall if we just had mana. But that's probably why our, our all of our cards were our hand was so good is because we didn't have lands. It's not looking good for us getting. It's not looking good for us getting there. It's like we may be taking a step back. But that's going to be to take two steps forward. So our opponent just shocked in there, thinking that they were going to like grow spiral on our turn. But we have Tithe Taker in play, so they'll just grow spiral on their turn. So thanks for the two life there, and the the wasted turn. That was a good draw. Vanguard's real good. Try to binding this reclamation. I 
Ugh. They had the four man in the gate. All right, well, we tried. Let's see if we lose now. <laughs> Thanks, Amnesiac. Yay, we got there. That is just, you know, see if we lose or not. Nothing else we can do. All right, game three. Game three. I wouldn't mulligan it, or I wouldn't mind a mulligan to four for the opponent here. I wouldn't mind that. Usually I do mind it, but I wouldn't mind it here. All right, go Vanguard, go. Do I lead with Vanguard or Tithe Taker? I think I lead with Vanguard. Next turn, do I play another Vanguard or do I play Tithe Taker? Okay, Demystify his clutch. Clutch. It is so clutch. I don't know. We may need, you know, like, we're probably going to need, like, one other thing to help pull this through. I don't know if these cards just get there on their own. Oh, they didn't have a land. So even if they have Settle, they didn't have the extra land for the Settle. Uh, now they've, they found untapped land for Settle. Oh, no! Wait, we're still good, though, right? Yeah, because they block Resplendent, they take... They go to six, they take six. Let's play a Johnny, though. That's our avatar. I am proud to fight by your side. Strength is born of struggle. Yeah, they were dead already, but we want to get our Johnny in play too, because that's that's our spirit animal. It's our avatar. And we got there. Level up, rank up, boom. That was really quick today. With 10 and one in ranked today, because we just started the ranked with Quasi Dupla Ooze earlier today. So we went, we went 10 and one in ranked today, so far. We haven't lost yet with, with Mono White Angel, so might as well might as well keep playing it. But there we go. We are now in diamond. And we are shining like a platinum. No. That didn't that didn't fit. Shining like a diamond? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Shining like a diamond.
He had... <laughs> Alright, Mr. Previously, have a good night. You can find the quasi duplo Ooze decklist in, on the stream decker page there. No, I'm not I'm not participating in the pre-release event, so I'm just not so I'm going to be taking the day off instead. And I'll you know, just get some stuff get some things done that I need to get done and uh, I'll you know, planning on streaming a, a lot whenever War of the Spark comes out, so I probably won't be taking an off day for a while after War of the Spark comes out, so just doing that tomorrow since I won't be playing the pre-release event. Um, I was not invited to the pre-release event. Hmm. I just realized I don't have quasi duplo ooze up on... Don't have it up on YouTube yet, so let's, let's fix that. Baffling end? That's rude. What are they baffling end? Nothing? Wait. I didn't have anything to, ba to baffling end. Okay, let's go back to our normal playlist now. Man, this diamond stuff's pretty tough. This person has a, like a, a lot bigger diamond than I have. I have this little itty bitty diamond. Waiting on Resplendent Angel. And not giving them like a, a nice solid target for a removal spell with it. We got two of them now. All right, Quasi Du Blues is now up on YouTube. Sorry, back to the back to the uh, Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah, I was a little surprised about that baffling end. Yeah, this diamond tier is pretty tough. They just send their baffling end out there, like just. That's just like just, you know, they're just like, look at how good our deck is. We don't even need this baffling end. It's like, it's that's scary. Yeah, we're just going to use this for City's Blessing. Ten permanents, here's one. Count it. I like, count it. I wouldn't mind, yeah, I would not mind two more lands. Yeah, I'll take two more lands. I wouldn't mind that at all. Honestly, all we have to do is just stay alive and we win, right? So this isn't like the necessarily the best trade for us with the the two creatures for the Venerate Luxon, especially like whenever we're gonna be able to attack with them as four threes the next turn. All we need to do is stay alive and we'll be good. We just gotta play defense. All right, got there. 
Demystifies, Baffling End, not a Johnny, not Binding, um, Settle, yes, Shalai, yes, Vanguard, no, and here we go. Uh, no, no stream tomorrow. And then uh, Wednesday, I have two donation decks right now on Wednesday scheduled, and we're going to play a lot of Grixis Discard also. And then a Legends deck. I'm not sure which version of Legends. Probably Nia Legends. Yeah. And then Nia Legends also. Play those on Wednesday. And then starting Thursday... Um, why no Ajani? Ajani really is, like, it's good whenever the board is stable, but the problem is trying to get the board stable. Like, whenever you're losing and they have, like, a better board than you, Ajani usually doesn't do anything. The only, like, if you just don't have creatures out. Like, the only the only time Ajani's good is, like, if... If that's the case and you have like a tithe taker that you can minus and grab tithe taker, but then you're you're spending four mana for like a tithe taker. And just the the rest of our cards in our deck are just gonna be better than the Johnny. Oh yeah. Sorry, I had I had this lowered a little bit because of Hawkeye. He was on my lap earlier. Sorry. I guess I'm going to Baffling End this turn. If I play Tithe Taker, they get to flip landing. Getting rid of one of these Flyers is really not that bad. We have another Baffling End in case they have something else pretty good. They want a Tribunal Marshal. Ugh. They had Baffling End. Alright, landing flipped. Ugh, still two permanents away. Ooh. Yeah, we can get a surprise dino. And take them off of... And we'd have to cast it in response here. To keep them from being... Ascending. Yeah, keep them from ascending. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Hey, Wizard of Oz. So unfortunately, we have to do it like that so, so they don't ascend. But now they know not to attack. Kind of thing. Let's draw angels. We'd like to draw angels. They're two permits away from ascending, but with Adanto, the first fort transformed. That's not too difficult for them now.
<laughs> it's kind of crazy. Tithe Taker are real big now. Because if they want to block Tithe Taker and trade, then we get a 3-3 flyer. <laughs> That's pretty big. It's taking it. Do not have unbreakable formation, please. I would not like that. Uh, I don't like that either. So we're going down to five. Hmm. My tie taker attack not looking as good now. Taker attack looked real bad. And then after that second baffling end. Come on. Dang. All right, game three. Yeah, why you gotta be taking all my stuff? We need a little more gas there, the last couple draws, instead of a couple more lands. But I like our chances for game three. Everybody here in Twitch chat. Stop. Trying to respond Everybody to a comment. Stop. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we're keeping. We're going to draw land. We're going to draw land. Resplendent Angel is awesome in this matchup. So is Shalai. So is History. Obviously, love Baffling End. Let's draw land. Told y'all we'll draw land. Just gotta believe. <laughs> Sorry, Rex. Yeah, no stream tomorrow. Um, taking a day off before War of the Spark comes out, because I'm not going to be taking a day off for a while after War of the Spark coming out. So doing that tomorrow. I think I want to just go a bunch of angels. And sure, there could be a baffling end for this angel, or removal spell for this one, but then there's not for the next one. And and if they're just playing removal spells, they're not playing anything on the board. Not attacking, because if I, if I attack for three and then they use a removal spell on the other one, then they get to attack in for a bunch. They get to attack in for four, and that's not worth it for me. Uh, 
Oh no. Double history, now I definitely regret not playing my own histories. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh this is this is rough. This is rough. Don't think we can... Don't know if we're winning this now. I mean, I guess, like, Shalai and Alira is, like, our only chance. Really, just Lyra. Yeah, if they had history, playing ours out was the correct move. I was thinking they were going to be going with, like, re removal spell and stuff like that. I, when I play the Resplendent Angel, but yeah, if I was thinking they're, like, getting history advantage first is, is really important, so yes. Considering if our opponent was playing history on turn three, I should have played my history on turn three. Don't think it would matter, though. Even if we would add history out right away. Double history, unbreakable formation against us. Missing land drops. Could have had Lyra out that turn if we had, would have hit land drops, but we didn't. I called us draw on the first land. We got that one, we just didn't draw the ones after that. Um, Alright, so 3-1 with Mono White Angels. We're going <laughs> to... Yeah, we lost the, the tempo baffling end guy. <laughs> Hey, it's all right. We got to we got to dive in, so that was a good place to lose a match there. Um, yeah. So you know it's ten o'clock here. That's my normal stream time is three to ten, all the time. So gonna gonna go ahead and end that one here. Even though we only played four matches with it, we just played a lot more matches with Quasi Do Blues. Um, but Mono White Angels did its job, got us those three in a row, get us to diamond. Pretty good deck. Pretty good deck. I think overall, you know, like we, we lost to Mono White that time, but then we beat Mono White another time. Overall, we should be pretty good against Mono White with like these angels and stuff. We just didn't get there that game. Um. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, Mono White Angels. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you for another video. Thanks for watching.